Justin Trudeau recently called the new conservative candidate Jamil Giovanni a twofer. And if you've seen conservatives using that video clip, they cut it off right there. But the next line is he's an ideologue and an insider. Jamil Giovanni is interesting, so let's talk about him. He was born in Toronto to a black father and a white mother. His father left him at a young age, which he says shaped a lot of his views in the world. He worked really hard growing up. He worked a lot of odd jobs and was able to get into Yale Law School, where he became best friends with J.D. Vance, an alt-right conservative congressman who pushes ideologies such as the Great Replacement Theory. J.D. Vance also thinks that gay people shouldn't be allowed to get married. Remember, Jamil himself says that they became best friends. He also worked for Democratic Congressman Cory Booker. Because Jamil is not really a hard-right conservative. He's a complex guy with a lot of nuanced opinions. Like, for example, he's spoken out against carding and policing. And he has written about how he feels as though a lot of the issues with black youth and crime stems from them not feeling validated by mainstream culture. But then at the same time, he has also blamed hip-hop and rap for the issues facing black men. He also supported Kanye West when Kanye was wearing the White Lives Matter t-shirt, as well as defending some of Danielle Smith's stances on COVID. He believes that Black Lives Matter is an anti-family organization and also doesn't believe in systemic racism. And he's also championing the idea that poverty and a lack of social services is one of the major causes of crime. He also criticized conservative politicians like Rob Ford and Jason Kenney for stances that he believed were racist. He's also spoken highly of both Jagmeet Singh and Jordan Peterson. Jamil has mainly written for the National Post and the Toronto Sun, and I have read quite a few of his articles, and I've heard him on different podcasts. I'm not, generally speaking, a fan of his work or his ideas, but I think he is a pretty complex character. I think he has a lot of great ideas. I think he has a lot of bad ideas. But him and the Conservative Party insinuating Trudeau is a racist for calling him a twofer, that's just low. That's sad, and come on, man, you're better than that. If you wanted to call Trudeau a racist, I'm sure you could find many other reasons. This is not one of them.